In this video, we will talk about how metadata helps in cataloging and finding pictures, what they are and how they can be used to organize your photo archives. Let's start from the beginning. Metadata is information that contains different data about a snapshot. It is built into a digital photos. This data is written directly into the image file, can include technical information, such as the date and time of shooting, the camera and lens model, as well as exposure settings or location information. It includes the GPS coordinates where the picture was taken. You can also save tags and labels there, keywords describing the content of the photo, and description with comments, text notes added by the user. This data can appear when you take a picture with a digital camera or a smartphone, and can also be added manually using photo editor programs. Metadata plays a key role in organizing and managing your photos, first of all, for cataloging. Metadata allows you to sort photos automatically by various parameters, such as date, location, or content. This makes your photo archive more organized and structured. Using metadata, you can find the photos you need quickly using filters and keywords. For example, you can easily find all the photos from your last vacation or family event. Also, information about the picture can be useful for professional photographers and amateurs who want to save details about the camera settings of the used lens and shooting conditions. To view and edit metadata, you can use existing specialized applications, standard Windows tools, and of course, Ton Photos. Ton Photos is a personal photo archive management application that saves you time and finds the file you need quickly. Let's discuss how to interact with metadata using the Ton Photos application. All of the functionality described below is fully available in the free version of the application. In order to see information about the photo and find out additional metadata, you need to select a picture of interest and press the corresponding key in the upper right corner or use the Control p hotkey. The information field will appear on the right. Here you can see the date of the video, tags, comments with titles, geolocation, the camera that was used, and much more. Let's start by editing the location in the photo. We understand the need to edit the location in the pictures while scanning old photos from film or paper. Also, if the picture is taken with a professional digital camera, most likely it will also lack information about the GPS coordinates of the shooting location. In the application, you can edit the location in several ways, by selecting one specific picture or immediately edit the location of several photos. Let me show you step-by-step -step using the example of editing the location of the picture. So, you and your family have taken some photos with a camera on vacation. After finding the desired photo, you can add the location manually. To do this, after selecting the picture, click the right mouse button on it and select Edit Location in the pop-up menu. An alternative way to opening a window of the location change is the F4 hotkey. We open a window of the location selection with a search bar. We can enter the name of a city or a large settlement. This is an approximate method, but is often sufficient for cataloging. After that, the selected picture will have a location. A good option would be to set the location for several photos at once. It is not necessary to select each picture separately, but it is enough to select the first and the last one using the clamped shift. This is handy if you want to tag all photos taken during the same trip or the same event. We open the dialog window in the similar way through the context menu or using the F4 hotkey. To select a locality in the application, you can use the map where you can accurately indicate the shooting location by dragging the pointer. Or you can manually enter coordinates for accuracy. To do this, find the desired location on Google or Bing Map, copy the coordinates and paste them into the search bar. In this way, you can easily group photos by specifying the same location for all shots. There are cases when photos have the wrong date in their metadata. Most often this happens for several reasons. Digitized old photographs with film will contain the date of scanning in the metadata, and not the date of the event in the picture. 
Also, often the camera may have the wrong date at the time of shooting, if it has been lying with a discharged battery for a long time. In addition, photos sent through a messenger or social networks often lose their metadata, and therefore it becomes necessary to set the correct date manually. With Tan Photos, you can set the correct date on these photos so that they can be easily found in your archive. This can be done both for one picture and for several ones. However, the functionality will be different. To change the date of one picture after selecting it, click the right mouse button and select Edit Creation Date in the pop-up menu. At the same time, F3 is a hotkey for this function. In the window that opens, you should set the date we need. In the case when you need to change the date for a group of photos, we can also use the context menu or the F3 hotkey to quickly access the date editor window and use one of two ways that have appeared to set the date. The first way is the same date for all pictures. This mode is suitable if you know the approximate shooting date, year, and a month. Let's suppose you have a group of photos of a family holiday and you want to set the same date for all pictures so that they could be displayed together. The second way is to shift the date by one time. If your photos have the wrong date, this mode allows you to move all photos to the correct date and time. Let's consider two cases. The first case is if all photos from your trip have the wrong time zone for some reason. You can easily correct this by setting the correct time zone while keeping the exact time of each photo. The second case when the battery has just run out in the camera, the date was reset and all photos have date as if they were taken on 1st January 2000 but at different times. Then we change the time with a shift to the desired date and time, but the sequence of shots in time will remain. After these actions the date will be appropriate. And another useful feature of Ton Photos is the addition of text remarks to photographs. There are two types of remarks, titles and comments. The title is displayed over the picture while viewing, which makes it visible immediately. In turn, the comment is visible only in the file information panel, which allows you to add additional information and without any clutter with images. These functions can be used via the main menu or using the Ctrl plus T hotkeys for the title or Ctrl shift T for the comment. By pressing the Ctrl T hotkey, you can write any information to display, for example, grandmother's birthday. This helps you immediately see what event is talked about. By pressing the Ctrl shift T hotkey, we can add a comment with additional information, for example, mad men in the country or how we spend the weekend. To edit an existing comment or heading, click the right mouse button on the corresponding field in the file information panel. It is important to remember that the tags that we looked at in the video about how to find your photos are also metadata. They are written directly into the photo file. At the right time, we can find the pictures we are interested in by the tag metadata. If you have not watched this video, rather follow the link in the description and get familiar with useful information. To tag a photo, click the right mouse button on the photo and select Add To from the pop-up menu. Then select the already created Summer Pond tag. The peculiarity of metadata is that after you have saved files using some programs, they will be stored there for a long time and will be available to you for viewing in the future regardless of the program, since their format is standardized. For example, this is how you can view this metadata via Windows Explorer. Yes, it is not as clearly as in the specialized Ton Photos program, but nevertheless it proves that it makes sense to invest your time in saving more useful information for your children and grandchildren. They will be able to use it many years later. Finally, I want to talk about the other side of the metadata. As you know, the internet remembers everything. Therefore, digital hygiene is not something that can be put aside for later. We need to think right now about how and what we post online so as not to put ourselves at risk. Nowadays, it is difficult to find a photo taken not on a smartphone. The smartphone is always at hand. It is compact and provides high-quality images. 
Thanks to modern technology, we often post photos on social media or we send them in messengers without thinking about possible risks. Modern smartphones store sensitive information in the metadata of the photo, for example, the exact GPS coordinates of the shooting location. This can be dangerous when we share these pictures on the internet, and this is the basis for many stories about fraudsters who receive important information from metadata. For example, thieves can find out your home address from photos from the apartment and realize that you are not at home since you are on vacation. This could send a message to them that your apartment is now empty. Of course, you can completely turn off the function of saving geolocation on a smartphone or even refuse to take pictures. But why refuse service when you can use it safely? It should be remembered that each photo stores a lot of additional information, including geolocation, date and time of shooting, a phone model, and much more. In order to protect yourself, there is an export function of the Ton Photos application, which allows you to change the size and format of the image in one click, as well as delete all metadata. This is convenient when you need to prepare photos for publication quickly on the internet, maintaining confidentiality. To do this, we can click the right mouse button on the selected picture and click on Export, or use the Control-Shift-E hotkey combination. Then in the opened window, select the required format, quality, and frame size. In the checkbox, you need to mark Attach Metadata to the photo or not. Clicking the Export key, you will complete the action. Photo Metadata Management is a powerful tool that helps organize and efficiently use your photo archives, whether you're a professional photographer or just an amateur. Knowledge and use of metadata will make your work with photos more productive and convenient. And if you still do not use the Ton Photos program, then rather follow the link in the description and download. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful tips about working with your photo archive.